Hello everyone, my name is Manny Singh, a cropping systems agronomist here at Michigan State University. Today we are out here uh, looking at uh, some of the work we are doing uh, with winter wheat. Our goal is to look at how we can improve our seed placement when we plant a small grain crop like winter wheat in terms of looking at the optimal seeding depth as well as seed to seed spacing, right? So hopefully we can achieve a more uniform canopy that can improve resource use efficiency, things like improved light interception, improved nutrient utilization, and more uniformity overall. That probably can help uh, in terms of uh, overall managing that, that crop as well. So we're trying to do this since when we plant, that's when we are setting up our yield potential. We're trying to protect that yield potential during the, the, the growing season. So the goal is to do our best possible scenario in terms of planting, achieving that, that uniform canopy that hopefully can lead to a high yield potential, as well as cutting down possibly on input cost in terms of more uniform management and even improve the quality of our crop. Here I have uh, with me second year graduate student, Calvin Canfield, uh, who's leading this project. And uh, he will be talking more about what we are doing out in the in the field uh, this year and what we are finding out specifically based on the on the research that he has already done over to you Kelvin part of the study we're comparing the precision planning planner with the seed drill the conventional seed drill and so far with this research we we're able to show that the precision planner increased seeding depth uniformity by approximately 60 percent and plant to plant spacing we increased the uniformity by approximately 20 percent and in the end, that led to approximately a 10% yield increase comparing with the 7.5 inch row spacing precision planted. In our second objective with the study, we wanted to look at how row spacing can impact wheat yield. Like I said on my left, I have the 7.5 inch row spacing. As we go to the, go this direction, we have some 5 inch row spacing. And you can see this canopy is real nice, closed, real thick. And that might lead to our increased yield potential. As we continue down, we have even uh, uh, we have another uh, seven and a half inch row spacing with with a precision planter, and even further down, we have this 15 inch row spacing. And you can see as we're getting real close to you know the heads are starting to pop out of the wheat. This canopy still isn't fully closed where the others were, and this might be part of the reason why we've seen a big yield benefit to going into narrow row spacing. That five inch row spacing was our highest yielder even over the seven and a half inch row spacing, both the precision planted and seed drill. Within the row spacing, we also wanted to look at how seeding rate might impact our wheat yield potential or even uniformity within the plants. This right here is our half million seeding rate. And you can really tell there's a lot of tillers. We have plants that already have heads sticking out. And then we have other parts of tillers that are barely at the boot stage. You can't even see the head. And when it comes to a fungicide application or you're trying to make decisions on the fly going across, you're going to look at this and you're going to maybe wait a little bit longer to make some of your agronomic decisions. Whereas if we go up to this one and a half million seeding rate, the heads, uh, the main stem and the heads are all really close to the same uh, physiological stages. And we might be able to say we can spray fungicide and you know the efficacy is going to be really high because we have all of them that are uniform. And even as we go up to that two million, there's not as many tillers, they're still pretty uniform, but they're, they're just not as, there's not as much uh, yield potential in this real high seeding rate. Right now, there's uh, not much equipment out there for large scale production for precision planting wheat, but hopefully with more data, more research, and more interest from the growers, we'll be able to encourage the equipment manufacturers to look more into precision planting wheat. So in conclusion with this study, after one year of research, we found that reducing the row spacing may be, have potential to increase wheat grain yield as well as uniformity. And we're seeing that after this one, you know, in between this one million and one and a half million seeds per acre might be the ideal seeding rate for winter wheat production in Michigan. Thank you everybody for watching and thank you to the Michigan Wheat Program, Michigan Crop Improvement Project Green. And for more information, please go to agronomy.msu.edu or MSU Extension.